Thank you so much for keeping us company. Times for politics now. We look to the uh, Commission on Revenue Allocation to 47 counties. This very day, the Senate will be having a special sitting uh, to try to solve the problem that has been there. The President has called on the Senators to make sure they, they resolve this matter. So the uh, Majority Speaker of the Senate, Samuel Pogisio, called on the meeting that will be happening this very Monday to, to see the allocation of the uh, revenue venue how it will be addressed and uh, the there's there's looming uh, problem uh, due to the alliances to different leaders that is the president the odm leader ray Lodinger, and the president uhuru kenyatta uh, there there could be a problem on who to support on this particular issue send us your comments or questions to all our social media platforms at y254 channel i'm speaking to um cyrus elito is a political analyst uh Richard Derrick, he's an aspirant MC of Ugenya. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. It's good to have you here this Monday. Yes. And even as we look about, about we talk about politics and what is happening, please someone tell me, Jana si my youth wali chapa wali vami offices afford, Cyrus. Mm. See, I'm a youth and I'll speak also as a youth. Mm -hmm. uh, the reality of the matter is that uh, youths have become an asset for hire. Mm -hmm. Not to do the good, but just to do the bad. Uh, to, 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 to push someone's agenda, mm -hmm. or few people's agenda. Then after they have pushed their agenda, they are nowhere to be seen. So that has remained the role of the youth in the society. Mm -hmm. It is high time that youths, we should be focused. We should know what we want. We should fight for what we want. Because, sincerely speaking, being hired just to go throw stones uh, just because of political differences, then that is something that is backwardness. True. We need to style up. We need to grow. We need to be, uh, uh, we, we need to be visionary. True. Because they, they say we are the leaders of tomorrow. And some of, some of us, our tomorrow is today. We don't have another tomorrow. So for those happy. youths who are being used, it's high time, style up, mm -hmm. do the right thing for your community. Because mm -hmm. we form the largest percentage. The, 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 the largest population we have, the youths have the majority of numbers. And these numbers are not used wisely. Mm -hmm. If we can turn that energy into something that can transform our economy, then our economy will grow and we shall benefit. Thank you. Derek, yes. for a long time, when it comes to politics, we will see the youth demonstrate. And by the way, uh, is it our upbringing that akihetu ni kutupa mawe, akihetu ni kuandamana, akihetu ni kuvandalize? Is it the same thing that will happen even to generations to come? Well, uh, Hillary, first of all, I think uh, we as the youth, We've been uh, marginalized because uh, during uh, the campaigns you see people dishing out 50 bob, 100 bob, and uh, this is the only way the youth can earn a living. Mm -hmm. While uh, the government is promising jobs, which other jobs apart from uh, cleaning the roads, till our leaders, not even leaders, our politicians, mm -hmm. because in Kenya we have uh, only politicians, they are after their own gains till they realize that uh, the youth can do better than cleaning the gutters and cleaning the roads. Mm -hmm. Till then, there won't be any stability. Mm -hmm. See, they have to empower us. They say we are the leaders of tomorrow. Yet, in uh, appointing people, they do appoint people 55 and above. What will happen to us, the youth? <laughs> what will we do apart from uh, being hired here and there? Mm -hmm. They are writing off billions uh, by Mumia Sugar KQ. Why can't uh, they write off billions so, uh, to help by the youth? Mm -hmm. The youth who are jobless. Uh, have the youth placed or uh, are they used a position themselves to a position where someone can say, he's a good leader, let me mentor them? Are our politicians doing that? Absolutely not. Our politicians are not doing that. Mm -hmm. They only care about uh, themselves. <coughs> you see, 
now uh, leaders from Mount Kenya are rallying. Mm -hmm. uh, they have seen that uh, elections are coming. They are gearing up for the elections. Mm -hmm. They now realize that the youth are part of the nation. Mm -hmm. They should empower us as soon as right now. Instead of uh, us struggling, hustling out here, Kazi Kazi Kwa Vijana mm -hmm. initiative. Right. What happened to Vision 2030? Mm -hmm. Whereby yeah. the youth could have uh, been placed better in the society. True. Say as you want to hear me. Yeah, there's, there, there's something you say there. Eh? Mm -hmm. We've been set aside as marginalized community. You see, youth in one or the other is a, is a community on its own. Mm -hmm. Some that are, and then the other point that he has highlighted, that uh, we need to be mentored, nurtured, all that. Eh? Mm -hmm. But the question is, it's not a bad idea, it's a good idea. There are those youths, like me and him, who are here, mm -hmm. who need also to be nurtured, you know, the other. <laughs> but you see, mm -hmm. majority of other youths, wherever they are, they are not thinking the same line we are thinking. Because they are psychophants. Mm -hmm. They are mediocres. Okay? Mm -hmm. They are there. You are a youth who is here. Okay? Mm -hmm. Who brought you here? It's your own brain. Okay? Mm -hmm. Somebody not hold your hand, bring you here. True. So it's high time. Mm -hmm. We as youths, we need to take very serious steps in life. Okay? Mm -hmm. Nothing comes on a silver platter. So when you sit there waiting for a leader to come and give you, Mm -hmm. you'll, you'll sit, wait and, until you become old, waiting for that leader to come and, and give you. Mm -hmm. And he'll never come to give you. He'll always use you. Because mm -hmm. if you are there to be hired and used, then why should, why should you not be hired? Even the, your fellow youth will come and hire you, so that you go and make noise for him. To do that, that's He's going to do a com <laughs> he, 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 he campaigned. Mm -hmm. And I believe he, he used the same, same youths. Mm -hmm. Okay? He has, smart people. <laughs> he has smart people, he loves smart people yeah. sitting on the table <laughs> discussing, yeah. mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. He'll have other youths, okay, 100 youths. Mm -hmm. He has 10 smart people, okay, on the table mm -hmm. discussing on how to win the election, mm -hmm. okay? Brain tanks. He has 100 <laughs> youths somewhere mm -hmm. in a corner mm -hmm. who are there singing his name, shouting his name to make sure that the name remains relevant on the ground, okay? Mm -hmm. so. Why, did he, why, why do we do so? Because these youths are there for them to be used in that way. Because mm -hmm. they have decided to be used that way. Youths, it's about time you wake it up. Is high, <laughs> it is high time for the youths. And I speak as a youth. Mm -hmm. I'm not yet 35. I'm still a youth. Mm -hmm. And I speak as a youth. It's high time youths make radical steps in their life. True. Because if you don't make a radical step in your life, no one will come to make a step for you. You have your own feet. You have your own brain. True. Make a step in life. Okay? All right, thank you. Let's now move to what is happening. And actually, I've seen it has caused an uproar. Uh, the Commission on uh, Revenue Allocation to Counties, it has brought a problem because uh, the proposal now uh, goes for the numbers, not the landmass like it used to be. Uh, an example that many people are highlighting is Kiambu. Kiambu has a lot of people. Uh, compare it to Wajia or Garissa, the, those big counties in terms of uh, square kilometers. But now the, the proposal goes for the people who have, uh, the counties that have majority of people will be given uh, a lot of uh, the percentage, the bigger percentage. But it's causing a problem because we have uh, the people in the coastal region. They support Baba, politically speaking. And then we have a region that also uh, supports Baba from the other side, let's say Kisumu. So the coastal region will, will reduce their revenue according to the proposal. Now, do you think this will bring the problem to the handshake, Derek? Well, uh, certainly it will do. And uh, this will require the Senate to sober up mm -hmm. and uh, make appropriate uh, decisions, not based on uh, their political stance, mm -hmm. rather, on the equity and fairness. Once they do that, then everything will be sorted. True. Because uh, right now, countries, uh, counties like uh, Garissa, they're marginalized. How do they expect uh, the people there to survive? They have to do it as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. Or else the county operations will be stagnant. Mm -hmm. 
Right. Yeah. Cyrus. Yes. Is there a looming problem? There's a very big looming problem, and uh, at the moment, as we start, I don't want to look at and I don't want to peg the problem on the handshake thing. Mm -hmm. But uh, I want to peg the problem on the House, okay, the August House, that is the Senate. Mm -hmm. And uh, my, when I talk of uh, the problem being the Senate, and I've always said the problem we have in this country mm -hmm. is not the president, it's not the opposition leader, it's not any political leader. The problem we have the, in this country, the August House, mm -hmm. be the, the National Assembly, okay, that is the parliament Understood. that hosts the MPs, mm -hmm. and uh, the Senate that hosts the senators. Mm -hmm. This is where the biggest problem is. Mm -hmm. And uh, it is high time we shift our blame from the leaders, the president, and the nini. Remember, we have three. Uh, in, in, in governance, we have three organs. We have the judiciary, mm -hmm. the executive, and the legislature. Mm -hmm. These are independent on their own. An executive sets place policies that should run the country, okay? Mm -hmm. That the ministers and uh, PSS and any other, band, they, or including the president. Mm -hmm. The judiciary ensures the law that is in place is well followed, okay? We adhere to the rule of law. And if you don't adhere to the rule of law, mm -hmm. the judiciary is there, okay? Mm -hmm. Then we have the legislature. The role of the legislature is to make the laws, okay? Mm -hmm. The laws that are protected by the judiciary. So these are the arms of the government. Mm -hmm. But one arm of the government mm -hmm. had decided not to play its role. They're supposed to play its role. But to be a signatory Mm -hmm. to the executive, okay? So this is where things are going wrong. But when we have the legislature, that's the MP and the senators, doing their role, the way they are supposed to do as it is enshrined in the constitution, mm -hmm. then we will not have all these problems, okay? Mm -hmm. And uh, having, the, I, I used to hear something, they say, one man, one shilling, one vote. Okay. <laughs> that is what that is what that is what has brought up to all this thing of distribution of resources to the counties. Mm -hmm. Remember, there are some you cannot compare Nairobi County and uh, Garissa County. You cannot compare uh, Kiambu County and even uh, let me say Viga County or even Homa Bay County. Mm -hmm. They are not comparable. Why? Kiambu's population is bigger. Why? It is also closer to Nairobi. Mm -hmm. There are people who live in Kiambu but work in Nairobi. True. Because the housing in Nairobi is very little. Okay? That is why the population of Kiambu is bigger. Okay? Mm -hmm. And uh, as we grow, as we go by, the population of Machakos will also grow bigger. Why? The proximity to the capital city. Mm -hmm. Because right now even Kiambu... Will, will reach a time there won't be space for people even to have housing. There'll be housing problem in Kiambu. Mm -hmm. So we'll see Machakos is still a, a virgin place. So people will now be uh, uh, um, commuting from Machakos to Nairobi, okay? Mm -hmm. Because of proximity to the capital city. This is the capital city. As much as we have other cities, but this is the capital city mm -hmm. that, that uh, drives the economy of this country. Okay, True. where the, 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 the finance basket is, is in Nairobi. So everyone, there's what we call rural urban migration. Mm -hmm. So people are migrating from rural, okay, to Nairobi. I come from Bungoma, I come to Nairobi uh, to do what? To uh, get a job or do something or schooling. The essence of devolution was very simple. Mm -hmm. To ensure mm -hmm. we have, we, 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 we first regulate the movement of people from rural to urban, okay? If at all the Senate, which protects devolution, mm -hmm. could have sat down and looked into this in the better way, mm -hmm. then the migration of people from, uh, uh, from rural area to urban areas will be, will, will, will be minimum. Mm -hmm. But it is still high. Why? We've not even worked on devolution the way it's supposed to work on con co uh, in, within the constitution. Monies have been allocated mm -hmm. to the counties, okay? Mm -hmm. But the problem is the oversight body 
that is the Senate, mm -hmm. does not play its mandate well in oversetting the monies that have been uh, uh, channeled to the counties. The, the Office of the Budget, uh, the, the OCO, uh, yeah. Auditor, Auditor, Auditor General, General, used to give reports on how monies have been spent. Okay, mm -hmm. We've only seen very few governors being called to the Senate panel committee Mm -hmm. just to explain how they have used their monies, okay? But you see, no substantive report has been has come out to the public, okay? I, I want you to hold on that thought uh, of becoming there. Now, Derek, do you think the proposal, the new proposal now that has been put in place, the Senate they will be uh, addressing it, do you think has a spirit of devolution? <coughs> well, uh, Hillary, certainly it does. Mm -hmm. But then what we are looking at uh, here is uh, we have to cushion uh, the marginalized uh, counties. Mm -hmm. The allocation of funds, like uh, currently we were using uh, the 2009 uh, population uh, census uh, and uh, the poverty levels, mm -hmm. yeah? Mm -hmm. In order to maintain equity, the same has to be used. Or we have to use the, the one recommended by the commission. Mm -hmm. Because uh, here we are looking at a situation whereby the, some of the senators actually will, uh, will not cast uh, their votes on this one because of uh, the administration, because of uh, the various uh, political terms. Mm -hmm. But then, we have to look at uh, the common monarchy here. Because you see that uh, the way Cyrus here has mm -hmm. uh, said, the oversight is uh, what is uh, failing us here. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's a lot of uh, misappropriation of funds. A county like uh, Sierra only having uh, 10 ICU beds, mm -hmm. while uh, the governor is building a uh, White House what 75 million misappropriation of funds and the senate is supposed to oversee that if the senate is not doing uh, their mandate mm -hmm. what do they expect it's us the common minority the youth that will suffer most mm -hmm. so they have to sober up and uh, they need to be fair and uh, they need to be there there's need to be equity mm -hmm in order for this to work out. And the sooner the better. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now, you, you were mentioning about the misappropriation of funds. And uh, just to mention, we have a few, a few counties that will be benefiting from this new proposal. We have Kirinyaga, Baringo, Bomet, West Pokot, Kakamega, Bungoma, Machakos. <laughs> Embu, who will be who, who will be some of the people benefiting from the new proposal because we have more money coming to the counties. And I remember from the the, the first chair, council of governor chair, the former governor for Bumet. Yes, Bumet yeah. yeah, he he was advocating and actually came up with the with the charmer <laughs> because he, he needed that uh, pesa machinani. And that's what they have been calling for. We have a, we have COVID-19 to address. We have counties that have not even matched to the 300 beds, yet they you need more money. We have money coming from the IMF and other donors. Now the government will be giving more monies to these counties. Do you, will we still experience the misappropriation of funds? We are. We are yet to experience a lot of misappropriation of funds. One, the monies, remember, the, the national government give the counties monies, okay? Mm -hmm as it is stipulated in the constitution, we have a World Bank, okay? Mm -hmm. Go to each and every county. There's a role that the World Bank plays mm -hmm. in each and every county, okay? Then we have uh, revenue collection from these counties, mm -hmm. okay? Then we have also that, uh, those, uh, those uh, let, me, let me say like uh, a country let me say, for example, a country like Denmark, a country like uh, U.S., may decide to go in a county to support it in one way or the other. Now, what we should, what we should hear in the Senate, mm -hmm. okay, is the discussion of monies. Because it's all about development in the area. Devolution was meant, mm -hmm. okay, to see that there's de development in the counties. What 
la what lacks in the county that is found in the city should also be done mm -hmm. in, the, in the county. So as, and, that's, and that's why I talked of, uh, I mentioned the rural urban migration, right. to reduce rural urban migration. So for example, uh, if the, the, the counties in Western Kenya, okay, mm -hmm. that is the North, the North Rift region, mm -hmm. could have seen that uh, we have a city called Kisumu. If we can empower, we can sit down as governors and as senators from this region and ensure that there's full development in this area and then have some things in Kisumu that are replica to Nairobi, we shall reduce uh, ab rural urban migration from this region, mm -hmm. okay, mm -hmm. to this region. And mark you, by reducing rural urban migration and empowering the counties, okay, you are what you are doing is also increasing your le revenue collection True. okay mm -hmm. by increasing the revenue collection in your county okay you'll be able also to have other funds on your uh, adding to what the national government is giving you mm -hmm. because when you go back on revenue collection Nairobi, Nairobi collects more mm -hmm. okay because it is the city and also the population Mm -hmm. Kiambu also may collect more because of the city and the businesses that people are set there. So mm -hmm. if businesses are set in the counties, okay, if uh, uh, manufacturing industries are set in the country, in the county, for example, the pan paper in mm -hmm. Webuye, if it was well refurbished, if it, is, it was put into operational, mm -hmm. how many youths will be employed in that county, okay? A number of youths will be employed. How many farmers will plant trees so that they can trans, uh, they can, uh, the, the pan paper can harvest the trees, okay, mm -hmm. and send it to? Then how much will be collected as revenue? Mm -hmm. Then we go to the sugar companies, okay, because mm -hmm. that is a sugar belt area. Mm -hmm. We go to the sugar companies. Mm -hmm. We have Sony, we have Mohroni, we have uh, Mumias, we have Zoya. So many sugar companies in that region. Mm -hmm. So if these sugar companies have been now, uh, 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 they have started doing the operational. The operation have started. How many revenues are we going to collect and how many employments are we going to, to create? We won't have youths tarmacking in, in Nairobi going to industrial area where mm -hmm. we have few companies because most of the companies also have closed. Mm -hmm. Now, when the senators go on the floor of the house, okay, and they don't put their focus on such a things, then devolution is, is meant to fail. Devolution now we remain all about having governors mm -hmm. who will only think of what will be of me come after my 10 year time elapses, mm -hmm. okay? That is now what will remain on devolution. We'll only be making, we'll only be having those regional kingpins, uh, regional leaders, uh, having uh, those people who have ambitions of being presidents and they have done nothing in the county. Mm -hmm. So if Senate will sit down and re look into these things, okay, mm -hmm. very well, in uh, using a microscope, okay, then we shall be safe. We shall be protecting devolution. But we are not protecting devolution because of the failure of the Senate mm -hmm. in oversighting, right. okay? Mm -hmm. So these are some of the things that we need to do. And voters should also be informed. Don't just know the rules, read your constitution, know the rules of your MP, of mm -hmm. your MC, of your senator. So if you know all these roles, mm -hmm. as they are enshrined in the constitution, then we shall be safe. It is also our role, we as the voters, mm -hmm. to protect what is ours. True. Now, Derek, he has mentioned about uh, vo uh, voters knowing the constitution. Mm -hmm. uh, he has, uh, you also mentioned of the, of the poverty going by 2009 uh, census. Yeah. I am sure if this uh, proposal goes through, we will have a political statements of uh, we need to increase our population. Just like they call for big numbers when it comes to voting. You hear our region, we are few. We need to have numbers. Do you think it is the same thing that will now start happening to counties? Maybe the, the politicians in certain regions will start calling for numbers. And when I speak uh, calling for numbers, you, you understand. Is that what will happen? Well, uh, Hillary, <coughs> there's a great scholar by the name uh, Thomas Sowell. Mm -hmm. Thomas Sowell once said, a politician is one person who will align his self-interest seem to be like a national interest. Mm -hmm. 
definitely we should expect more of that. See, because <coughs> the type of uh, politicians we have, majorly they care about themselves, you know. Mm -hmm. But then the Mwanainchi is the one suffering. Mm -hmm. You see, the numbers, yeah, the numbers matter. More money to the counties. Yeah, we need more numbers. Money to the counties. <laughs> <laughs> but then the counties are not utilizing uh, the funds. Mm -hmm. If they could have uh, utilized the funds, then uh, as uh, Ani said here, there couldn't be urban uh, rural migration. True. Because a uh, county like, uh, let's say Kisumu, Kisumu can take care of uh, itself and uh, the people around there. Mm -hmm. But what are the youth uh, doing there? The youths instead, they are migrating here. Mm. Look at a population like Madhari. It will come a time, 2022, whereby you will see politicians flocking around Madhari. You see, because, because of, of numbers. numbers. <laughs> True. Yeah, we need to empower our people. The numbers matter, mm. yes. But then it will only matter after the people we elected mm -hmm. do whatever is uh, needed of them. All right. Now uh, we're running out of time, Cyrus. Mm -hmm. uh, we have we we have. You just mentioned of the uh, the rural urban migration and yes. uh, the youth are there. This new uh, proposal, do you think it will favor the youth in the spirit of devol devolution? And even as you respond to that, we have twenty two percent to health. Uh, the earlier interview I had here, we talked about primary health. Mm -hmm. Now, do you think this one? Has, 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 has everything that we need. Uh, let me tell you one thing. The proposals that are being brought right now, they are not better than the proposal we had in the earlier constitution, the 2010 constitution. Mm -hmm. They're not. The proposals that are being brought right now, they're only centered on numbers. Okay? Mm -hmm. And uh, you see, when you center yourself on numbers, fine. Also have a bigger perspective. Fine. These people come after five years, mm -hmm. they'll use their numbers to vote me in or to vote this government in. Mm -hmm. Okay? Now, after voting me in or so and so in, what are my roles? What are my responsibilities? My responsibility is to ensure there's good health in that area. Mm -hmm. there's, and good health is not all about hospitals. Hospital should, be, should have water. Clean water, mm -hmm. sanitization, because that is under public health. Sanitization, okay? Then, good schools. Good schools also with good health, okay? Mm -hmm. There should be food, because a child who goes to school hungry will not perform. A child who goes to school hungry mm -hmm. will be malnutritious. And then we end up losing. Mm -hmm. So the population will lose. Because there's no food to eat. There are no better health. There's no clean water. Okay? Mm -hmm. Leave alone electricity first of all. But let us look at these basic things. Okay? Mm -hmm. Good health, good education, good water. Do we have them? Okay? Mm -hmm. Now we want to give our, 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 our children better education. Do we have facilities? Do we have enough teachers? Okay? Mm -hmm. So if, for example, a county will go because we have ECDs, okay? We have, and I've always said, we have, minist we have ministries in the county. Minister of Trade, Minister of Education, Minister of what? What are their roles, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, if a county assembly will sit and discuss about a health within that county, mm -hmm. okay? And come up with the mechanisms of implementing the idea. Mm -hmm. How many health centers will you have in, in a ward? Enough to cater for our population. Mm -hmm. When a, a county assembly will sit down and discuss a bill on uh, education, okay? Education that does not only touch on the, on, on, on the child, it also touches on the teacher. On subordinate workers. It also well. touches on the subordinate workers. Mm -hmm. It also touches on the if, uh, uh, um, 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 school amenities. So if all these things are well discussed, in a better way, then we shall have a, a good society. Mm -hmm. No matter how many billions will be poured in this country, 
mm -hmm. will be distributed in the counties, but with poor management and poor oversight, mm -hmm. because we have a manager and we have an oversighter, okay? Mm -hmm. well, they, when all of them become poor, these monies won't do anything. They will end up in people's pockets. All right. <laughs> all right. Now, uh, finally, do, do you think uh, this new proposal favors the youth? The, the youth that we have said right here, to wake up. Well, uh, <clears throat> the youth shall never be favored, not unless we stand up for ourselves. Mm -hmm. You see uh, unemployment rates. Mm -hmm. Recently, the president uh, uh, developed some uh, Kazi Kaziko uh, mm -hmm. initiative. Yeah. The youth are complaining. They haven't been paid. Where is this money headed to? Mm -hmm. Till when our leaders will know that the youth, the work not only is We need to develop a system whereby the youth are favored. We are the leaders of tomorrow. Right. And uh, in order to address a problem, you need to get to the root of the problem, of which uh, the government is not even trying to do. Mm. We need to better our health care. Hospitals, the way he said, nutrition, education. When you look at uh, the VAT on uh, books, the VAT is too high. Compare it with uh, the betting of which uh, the betting was uh, scrapped off. Is the government uh, favoring literacy or illiteracy? Once we are, we are uh, literate, then we are headed somewhere. See, they need to favor the youth mostly. All right. And we are out of time, uh, but the Senate will have to sit down, pass the proposal or fail it. We wait and see whether it will be happening or not. Either way, we sit here and the issues that are there. Uh, we point where there are problems and propose where we, there needs to be changes. But anyway, thank you so much, gentlemen, for coming and sharing your opinion. Apparently, we had little time. Back home, thank you so much for keeping us company. They have been my guests, Richard, Derek, Nimweshi, Mwakule, Siaya, Ugenye Kosiaya, right? Yes. Exactly. <laughs> and poli a political analyst, uh, Cyrus Elitswa. Thank you so much for being part of Why in the Morning. I'll be seeing you uh, later in the day with the updates from uh, for, uh, for COVID-19 and uh, uh, news highlights in the evening. Keep it Y254. Enjoy the rest of our programming. My name is Dereva Hillary. Good morning. <laughs>